So it's really easy on a computer to do all kinds of cool graphics, uh, graphical displays, but that doesn't always mean that you should. So we're going to take a minute and talk about some bad graphical representations of data. So here is the car color data we were looking at earlier, and, and here it's done in a 3D bar graph. Uh, the problem with this graph is that because of the perspective of it, it's almost impossible to read now. Uh, I mean, it's really hard to tell which of these uh, bars is actually larger when it is on this slant like this. And so this is really a bad graphical representation now. It's really hard to read. Now here's another uh, situation. So suppose a labor union produces this graphic um, designed to show the difference between the average manager salary and the average worker salary. Now, it could be, I mean, if I was to look at this, I'd say, okay, if I was to imagine this as, uh, you know, the, the worker salary, then let's hear that. Ooh, ooh, wow, that, th this one's like four of those. And so if I was to look at this, I might think that, wow, those manager salaries are four times bigger than the worker salaries. But it's sometimes hard to tell because because not everyone you know does things that way. It could be that the manager's salaries are only twice as big as the worker's salaries, and the um, you know the person creating this representation said, "Oh look, it's only twice as big, right?" And so that that visual distortion of area versus a length. Uh, really makes this hard to tell based on the graphic uh, what's really going on. So this so this type of, of um, pictogram is not a good representation. Now there are some representations where say you would use like some kind of picture um, like a dollar sign to represent money and then you use a certain number of them to represent relative sizes and that's a lot more acceptable because then it really is the length of the picture that corresponds with the quantities. Let's look at one more, and this is a big problem with bar graphs. Notice these two graphs here. Um, these are two graphs from a poll uh, about same-sex marriage rights taken in December 2008. Uh, and they look quite different, right? Which, which of these is misleading? The one that's misleading uh, is this one. This is a bad graph. It's a bad graph because this vertical axis is condensed. Uh, it's condensed from 40 to 60, and so it creates a misleadingly large disparity, right? This bar now looks three times bigger than, than, than this bar, whereas if we actually look at it f measured from zero, we can see that the difference is much smaller uh, than, than this graphic would, would lead us to believe.